All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video as a comparison between the three kayaks that I have. I originally started out with that Vibe. It's a yellow fin 100, and that's a great solid roto molded 10 foot kayak. I've had it, you know, in leaks. Um, took it out in the Hudson River striper fishing. That was the first kayak I ever bought. Bought it used for 500 bucks. Then the next one, that I just picked up today because I've started getting into the kayak fishing as I wanted a pedal drive system. I was looking at the Hobie new uh, Mirage Passport 10R they're coming out with because that's a roto molded kayak like the Yellowfin Vibe. And I have to say Yellowfin probably makes the strongest roto molded. I don't know how, how many mil thick uh, the plastic is or whatever you want to call it, but that thing's solid. There's no flex to it. The Old Town seemed to be a better quality roto mold than the Hobie from things I read online. Never seen a Hobie in person. And then you got this Hydroformed Lifetime that I picked up for 300 bucks off Facebook Marketplace so I could take one of the kids out with me. But just a quick comparison. This one's a Hydroformed, I mean. The plastic on it. You probably can't tell, but you can compress it with your hand. You stand in it, just on shore. The thing mushes in, but it does kayak really well, and it tracks all right. Um, the Old Town, don't have a water review, literally just got it home. Got it set up, I'm gonna take it out tomorrow, so we'll see how that does. It's a little more cumbersome being 10 foot six, I believe. Weighs more than the yellow fin, weighs a Feels like a good amount more than the lifetime, that's for sure. And then you gotta set up the pedal drive, the seat. Seat's kind of a pain in the butt, I get it. You have adjustability forwards to backwards for the pedal drive, but I think they could have did something better with the mechanism on it. And what I mean by that is all they have is this little cord and these things slide in and off, or off the end of the bar. I don't know, maybe make the kayak a little wider or something and just have like a bolt going through there so these are fixed you don't have to worry about losing the releases for the seat the yellow fin the seat just drops right in and you got some bungee straps underneath similar to the lifetime one that one's got a double header paddle grip and a rod holder up in front for the kids this one's just got the double header and that one's got a single roto grip. So we'll see how they do. Um, what else? This one's got the little storage up in the front, I guess. You just pop that off with one hand. You can stand in the top water. The yellow fin, I haven't stood in it. I'm 5'7", 175, 80 pounds. So I'd be nervous to stand in it. I mean, it's stable when you're paddling. The lifetime has the least amount of stability you stand up in that thing you better have good balance or you're going over so you know this is an awesome if you just want a kayak to pedal around in buy a vibe you know i'd say that the quality of them is probably better than the old town again i haven't seen a hobie so it's hard to say but these things are the way to go it's got two storage compartments one there one here that are, I believe, supposed to be dry. Whether or not it is, I don't know. So, maybe just pop that gasket out and throw a little silicone around where the screws go in or something if you were to flip it. But, uh, yeah, no. The Vibe's a nice kayak. This thing's even wider. I thought the Vibe was wide. And then you look at the Old Town, it's probably got three inches more width on it so I think that's how they get away with standing I haven't flipped it over yet to take a look at how the whole design is but I'm assuming it's relatively similar to the vibe and then the lifetime's kind of more streamlined so it gets going pretty quick in the water um, you know the pedal drive unit the reason why I went with the pedal drive over the Mirage drive and the Hobie is because I didn't want to have to upgrade to get reverse. A lot of the rivers I fish in, you got current or you're fighting, you know, 20, 40 pound stripers. 
you can pedal backwards to keep pressure on the line versus the Mirage Drive. Unless you get the 180 drive, you don't have reverse. So, you know, you're constantly blowing around. You can't reposition and back up or just hold where you want to be at. So we'll see how it does. I'm going to pick up an anchor trolley for the Old Town. And the weight on the Old Town is not too bad. I put it up on the roof rack of my BMW. It's a little heavy, but it's manageable. You can get it up there. And it held on fine. I just drove it 25 miles home without an issue. So we'll see how it does next year. Um, that's about it, guys. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Peace.